Hello, I'm Diana Upton Hill. And I'm Erica Good. And you are watching season two of Dutch Country Kitchen. Hi, Erica. Thank you for inviting me over. Well, I'm always happy to have you here, of course. And, you know, I was just feeling like, you know, looking at the spread here, I see this giant bowl of beautiful strawberries. And yes. doesn't this look delightful, you guys? I am excited for what's in store today. Yes, we are gonna start off with strawberry shortcake, strawberries, freshly whipped cream for the top. Ooh. And I don't usually give you hostess gifts, but I have one today. Oh, that's sweet. And ta-da. Ah, look at this strawberry shortcake doll. <laughs> I used to play with these Aww. growing up. That's so awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Aww. All right, well, let's get started mixing up the strawberry shortcake. And to start, it's just kind of like a normal cookie recipe. You put the butter and sugar in, mix it together. Looks like we're using our Amish roll butter again. Yes, mm -hmm. wouldn't do without it. All right. And then our granulated sugar. Let's mix this together. Okay. All right, I think that step is good. Now we just need to add an egg. And I think the secret to this amazing shortcake is using butter instead of shortening. And I've been making short shortcake for years. I've tried all kinds of recipes, but just this spring I tried a recipe with the butter in it. Oh, and it was and so good. Wow, where did you find that recipe? So my mother-in-law gave me this cookbook and I love it. It's actually an old time friend. And her name of her cookbook is Hope's Table by Hope Helmuth. Oh. And the, it just has lovely pictures, yeah. southern style cooking at its finest, healthy recipes. I love it. Oh, wow. So. I'll have to get a, get a copy. That's right. All right, back to the shortcake. We can add the other ingredients. Pour in some milk and some vanilla. Of course, the pink Himalayan sea salt. <laughs> <laughs> and some baking powder. And then some flour. And while I'm mixing this up, do you wanna go ahead and just put some oil on that cloth and rub it on the inside of cast iron? That tends to work better on cast iron than just spraying it. All right, looks like mm. we both got done about the same time. Looks like some delicious batter. Yes. So baking this in a cast iron pan just adds a perfect classic cozy touch to this cake. And is that something that, that Hope specifies in her recipe or is that something uh, you've added or? She has a picture of it in there, yeah. Oh, wonderful. And we sell this at the store, so mm -hmm. I wanted to try it. And they have these really cool wedge-shaped pieces too. Nice. All right. And I'll show you my toothpick trick for testing to see if it's done or not. Another trick. That's right. You've revealed a lot of secrets and tricks, I feel like, this season. It's, it's been a great one. I have a, a mom and mother-in-law and a lot of friends that are amazing cooks, so. <laughs> All right, I think this is ready to put in the oven. Great. Do you mind to open the door for me? Sure thing. All right. Okay, let's move on to the strawberries. Now these, I have my radis, serrated paring knife. And I love it for vegetables or fruit because it just takes off any of the holes or whatever you're using very easily. Mm -hmm. and we're just gonna quarter these strawberries. They look like they're going to be very oh, delicious. Yes. It's one of my favorite things about spring is I have a strawberry patch and my little girls are like always out there trying to find red strawberries. So much fun. That was such a, a good memory I had growing up too, was picking the mm -hmm. strawberries. Yeah, if you don't have your own, go get find a patch and pick them or something. They always taste so much better than um, just at a chain 
grocery store or something. Although we're very grateful for those grocery stores. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sugar on these. And it's not much, but it just helps, I don't know, it turn, makes the strawberries juice up a little bit mm -hmm. and it's delicious. They look delightful. All right, I think this is ready. Let's get started on the whipped cream. Great. So this is just a pint of heavy whipping cream. This is so much better than just buying it frozen from the store or whatever. Yeah. Fresh is so much better. And I used to always put granulated sugar in here, and my friend Felicia told me about powdered sugar. That was her grandma's trick. Oh, sure. And yeah, it just makes it more airy and fluffy and it's amazing. What a neat uh, a blend with your strawberries. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you do this, you always mix the milk first before okay. you add anything else. And you can have, if, if you're worried about it, you can have the bowl and the beaters chilled to make sure everything's cold and mm -hmm. blends up well. All right, you can see how poofy this is. It already looks so beautiful. And all it is is whipping cream. It didn't add anything else. So when you add the rest of your stuff in, I don't really like to mix it in because you don't want to flatten the whipped cream that's been whipped. So I just kind of add it in like this. And it's called folding it in. You just kind of lightly toss it together. Oh, this looks amazing. Yeah, that's going to be a great topping. <laughs> yes, it is. I think you could even just have the strawberries with the cream and, and it would be delicious. My daughter, Autumn, would just eat the cream. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> when we have desserts often, she's like, all she wants is the whipped cream. <laughs> wow. All right, you can see here it's well blended. It's ready to go. I think I might put it in the fridge until the strawberry shortcake gets done baking. Great. All right, let's check and see if this shortcake is done. Thank you. All right, looks brown around the edges, but the foolproof way to see if this is done or not is to get a toothpick. And if you insert it in the center of the deepest point and pull it out, and if there's no cake on it, no dough, you know you have a winner. Looks clean and it <laughs> smells delicious. Yes. So now we just need to let this cool a little bit and then we can taste it. Great. Well, I'm so glad I think we're cool enough. And I see you are cutting into that shortcake. Yes, it looks done to perfection. Let's cut it up here. And it's thick enough. It looks like it's going to make, you know, several slices for your entire family and guests if you have yes. people over. And I love these pie-shaped slices you get from, and even the look of the um, cast iron pan is so much fun. This is a nine inch cast iron pan. Works, works perfectly. All right, let's scoop one of these slices out and plate it up. All right. And of course, this is another rate of beauty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put on some strawberries. And you want plenty of strawberries. Yes. I mean, they're good for you after all, right? Yeah, that's right, fruit. Beautiful. Right. And then of course, last but not least. Mm -mm, not least. The amazing whip topping. All right, and you need loads of like everything on this. Yes. <laughs> All right, what do you think? I think it's ready, don't you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Well, thank you so much for presenting this delightful. I think I'll take this and you can, is that fair? Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate Bye. you hanging out in my kitchen again today. And of course, thank you for the lovely hostess gift. Oh, certainly. <laughs> thank you for inviting me over. Yeah, and thank you guys for joining us. If you are interested in any of the ingredients or products that you saw today, make sure and check out DutchCountryKitchen.com. We've got links to everything and the recipe. And remember, every day is a holiday and every meal is a feast.